As coronavirus spreads like wildfire in India, people are desperately searching for hospital beds, oxygen cylinders, vaccines and all the essential resources. Many are trying to seek help on social media. But for others who have never heard of Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and do not even have access to the internet to register themselves on the COVID app or assess their health on Aroge Setu, time and hope is running out. Let's understand why the digital solutions given by the government to fight a pandemic have not been inclusive. A 2020 National Health Family Survey says that 60% of women in 12 states have never used the internet. India has about 600 million internet users, yet half of its population lacks internet access and even if they can get online, only 20% of them know how to use digital services. The ongoing health crisis has not just exposed the underprepared and crumbling health infrastructure, but also a dangerous digital divide that continues to deprive people of access to basic resources. While some are waiting for OTPs to get themselves vaccinated, others are deprived of basic services like the internet and are running from pillar to post to survive through the crisis. In the past few days and weeks, many of us have been able to get help on Twitter and even provide help on platforms like Facebook, Instagram. Our social media is flooded with requests for beds, remdesivir injections, medical oxygen. Those with information or required resources are sharing contacts of volunteers or vendors using hashtags like hashtag COVIDSOS. Many of us in our limited capacities are going out of our way to help those in need. But is that enough, especially in a country where hundreds of millions of people still do not have access to a smartphone or social media? For those who have no idea about retweeting or tweeting, awaiting response from government helplines or carrying bodies of their loved ones on stretchers are the only ways to get help. Those who have access to hospitals, doctors, or even an option to tweet can appeal for help. But what about others? The government has been actively spreading information about the coronavirus through digital means. The government asked people to download Aroge Setu to assess their health last year. And this year, people have been forced to download COVID to register themselves for the vaccine. However, those who hail from the poor or marginalized communities have failed to comply with these orders and have missed out on crucial information and support. Apps like Aroge Setu government's contact tracing app, which had nearly 150 million users by the end of September last year, has now faded into the background. Then came the COVID app, a platform for vaccine registrations. The government has time and again depended on technology in its fight against coronavirus pandemic, but it failed on multiple occasions. The government said if you have Aroge Setu on your phones, you can protect yourself against COVID. But what if you don't have a phone or the internet? The launch of online job portals for labourers and e-passes for movement during the lockdown showed how Indians who, who are not digitally literate could have lost out on livelihood opportunities. The technology theatre pushed by the government has time and again left the non-tech savvy citizens in the dark. The government's measures for users with technological know-how, enough time to stare at a computer screen or phone screen and a quick finger to feed data has left behind a huge part of the country that failed to compete. People have been left helpless as the government decided to prioritize efficiency and high technology over need. 